Uh, Josh Alexander, so bad news for bad news for the company. Josh Alexander wrote that he has had to pull out all of his any dates for the rest of the month of May. He said, I'm not injured. It's all precautionary. I've been dealing with some personal health issues that leave me in constant pain. I'll deal with it and I'll be back as soon as possible. Um, hopefully this will only be, uh, he's hopeful that it'll only be a few weeks. So it looks like he's going to be missing the up- upcoming tapings in Cincinnati, um, which is a shame because, you know, I, I think that he's probably going to be the main event of uh, Slammiversary. So uh, good that he's taking time off now. I hope he heals up. And he is back for the Philly tapings, which would then lead into Slammiversary in July. So I think the Philly tapings are coming up like a couple weeks after Against All Odds in June. And then that should take us right into Slammiversary. And I I fully believe that the main event of Slammiversary is going to be Moose versus Josh Alexander. In fact, Josh beat Frankie Kazarian in that street fight, and he's the number one contender. But it very much looks like we're going to get to... Um, we're going to get to Matt Hardy versus Moose at against all odds. That That's what it looks like to me. I, I don't know that for a fact. I just, I just think that it might be true. Um, so hopefully, hopefully he comes back in a week and we can get it back. He, he, in fact, he did pull out of his dates. Like he was supposed to wrestle Shelton Benjamin, I think coming up this weekend. Um, and that, that one fell through and that would have been a cool, like I would have probably tried to find that one. Um, so uh, the Under Siege special on on uh, May third, um, they did a TV taping on May May fourth in Albany. So the first night drew about four hundred fifty fans, and then uh, three hundred the second night. Why do they keep going back to Albany? <laughs> so, they they uh, I think for the pay per view they tripled almost tripled in Vegas, and. The tapings was, you know, like two and a half times the tapings. So um, in Vegas, and then they go to Albany and they drew 450 fans the first night and then 300 the second night. It's not like, and I'll be like, I'm not shocked. The funny thing is, is that the first night, the fans were pretty lively. They were crazy, man. They, they had a, they had a, they had a, they made a lot of noise. They were into everything. And that, that building, like you could probably get like, you can get a few thousand in that building, but to get four fifty is pretty wild. Um, but you know, they, the way they set it up and the way they lit it and everything, it made it seem like there was a lot more people there. And it's because the people were super into everything. But then the second night was just like all your, the, the typical guys that go every time. In fact, there was one moment during uh, the speedball. Um, the Speedball Mountain ABC match, the main event, where it was like four guys trying to get a chant going, like a dueling chant of Speedball Mountain ABC, Speedball Mountain, and like nobody joined them because they're like half asleep. <laughs> it was, that was that was rough. And I knew that the tapings were going to be rough. Like I called that one because when they were there for Bound for Glory a couple of years ago and uh, like Bobby Fish was like their big attraction because I think he's from Albany, although he probably lives in like Texas or something. But uh, they brought in Bobby Fish for it, and nobody cared. In fact, he got CM Punk chance while he was there. And uh, the next night was the uh, the Where's the Lie, the infamous Where's the Lie, where he's just talking into an abyss of, of darkness and just very few shadows of people in the audience. And, like, the same the same crew that goes to every show, like, in the front row. That's all you could see. And, uh, and nobody cares. <laughs> it's a tough, man. Super tough. So, um I think next time someone brings up the idea of going to Albany, they should rethink the strategy because they're just not drawing in Albany. It's just not happening. Alex Hammerstone was uh, not medically cleared to uh, wrestle Rich Swan at the at under siege. I talked about that, um, but he appears to be coming back soon. He's going to be at the Kentucky tapings. At least he took the he took the Twitter and said that he would be. He took to Twitter and said that he would be. So I hope that that's the case. I hope that he uh, that he is there, he is available, and uh, he is back. Um, I wonder what they're going to do with him because I was really interested to see him and Jake Something in a match, and then it falls through. And now Jake Something's kind of moved on to something else. I wonder if when Hammerstone gets back, if they're going to keep that going. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's go to the chat. Joseph G., says uh has leon slater been doing much there yet he's been having like undercard matches and looking really good but they have not put him into a program or anything like that 
Um, but I believe at Rebellion, he was on the pre-show um, in a trios match, and he looked awesome, and then he came back for singles. I do not know if he was at the Albany tapings. Um, I don't remember, and one of you guys in the chat might be able to correct correct the record there. I do not remember. Um, oh, hold on. Actually, the Swink is in the chat. He's already answering the question. He says, Leon Slater worked the countdown to Rebellion in a six-man. Slater is on impact next week against Alan Angels. Well, there you go. Thank you, Swink. Thank you, Swink. And, of course, he's correcting the record about the Shelton Benjamin. Shelton Benjamin match is next Thursday for Prestige Wrestling, and that show is on IWTV. Um, but Josh Alexander will not be there for that match. Somebody is, uh, somebody is filling in for him. So hold on. Swig of coffee for the swing. All right. Um, oh yes. So yeah, Alexander's hurt. Hopefully he's back. Um, Hammerstone got hurt also, but he should be back here pretty soon. 